Welcome back to Ricky Does It, where today I'll be making Moana out of construction paper. So my boyfriend got me this great little pack of multicultural construction paper for Christmas. And as you can see, it has all these beautiful different flesh tones, which makes me so happy because now I'll be able to do a wider variety of characters with more accurate representation. For Moana, I'll be using this tan- Ah! Where'd my hand go? <laughs> but yeah, since her costume is mostly earth tones, I'll also be using this beige for her overskirt and this lighter tan for her grass skirt underneath. And of course, we have some black for her hair and orange for her top. Now proportionally, I want her somewhere between Eleven and Spider-Man, so maybe just a bit shorter than this piece of paper. But I'll still be using my child pattern as reference, just moving it up and down to get the basic shape. Now this is going to be interesting, because all the human characters I've done so far have been, you know, stylized versions of flesh and blood people. Even the ones from comics, I used their movie counterparts to help inform what I was doing. But Moana is already a cartoon, so I could easily just draw her kind of exactly as she is, but I'm thinking I want to make her look more like she exists in the same universe as all the other characters I've done. So we'll see how that goes. So there's her head and torso. Now let's figure out her arms. And for this one, I want her holding an oar like she is in a lot of the promo art for the movie, just because I think it looks cool. And we'll deal with the shape of her hand once we get the oar in there. Now for her top. I'm just going to outline her torso, then cut the shape from there. Now to figure out the length of her skirt. If her feet are down here, then this should be about where her knees are. So I'm just going to play around with the bottom here, because I don't really want a perfect zigzag pattern, but I do want it a little shaggy and uneven, like the bottom of a grass skirt. And yeah, I think that totally works. So let's get that glued on. And knock out those legs and feet. Now let's see how she stacks up to 11. Huh, I think she might be a bit shorter than I planned, but I think she'll be just fine. Now for the fabric part of her skirt. And I know there's little cutouts here, but I'm just going to draw them in later. And before I do the top layer, I want to color in these flower designs. Now I guess I could have just drawn this layer on, since it's all the same color, but I just like the sense of dimension you get from actually having multiple layers. So let's knock out her sash. And now her hair. I'm just going to trace this and the shape of her head, and then I'll know how I want her hairline. Hmm, I'm not loving that. So I'm just going to trim the top of her dome, then give her a little tendril of hair to make it work. Snatched for the gods. So now she's kind of got like this row of puka shells. I'm just going to do a strip of this, then draw them on, like the spikes on Stripe's face in my Gremlins video. And now I want to make her oar. I'm just going to do it diagonally on the paper so I have a bit more breathing room. And I'm going to use my ruler for reference so it's nice and straight. Now I'm just going to cut her fingers out from her hand give them a little more shape. Then I'm just going to glue the oar onto what's left of her hand, making sure her thumb is on top. Then I'm going to glue her fingers back on, 
And just to make sure everything's secure, I'm going to glue a little patch on the back to keep it all together. Okay, looks like her aura is angled out a bit, but if I flatten her out, it's a lot straighter. And if I pick her up, this just flops all over the place. So I'm just going to use some random scraps to reinforce this part. First the ore, making sure it's thinner but still thick enough to offer support. And then her arm. And that's definitely better, but I think I'll put another layer on. And that's way better. So now, I'm just going to put this ruler down and some weight and let it dry for a bit. And yeah, I'm happy with that. So you know what? I'm just going to jump in there with some crayons and colored pencils and do the thing I do. I said earlier I was just going to draw these cutouts on, and for that, I'm just going to use a regular pencil, so it looks like shadows you'd see through the holes. And then I'll just finish up the rest of the designs, and get a nice grass effect going on that skirt. And now for a top. I'm just going to do my best to capture the designs and symbols here, though I do admit, color pencils on construction paper isn't the most precise medium. So okay, it's time to start shading. Now I have to admit, I'm really happy with how she's coming out, but I'm still a little nervous about that face. Just the fact that she's a cartoon, we know what she's supposed to look like drawn, so there's a little less room for interpretation here. So let me just get some highlights in there, and more design work on that sash, and okay, let's give that face a go. A lot of times I cut this part out, but it does take a little trial and error sometimes to pick the right color. Now here's the part I always dread, the inking. And the irony here is, this is where I feel these dolls really come to life, but it's also where I run the risk of just smudging the ink and making the whole thing a mess. And this is something I feel a lot of artists and people in general struggle with, being afraid of making mistakes. But the thing is, if we don't try things just because we're scared of messing them up, then we keep ourselves from ever doing anything amazing, even if it's not perfect. So let's just get a little more shading in there. And there she is, our Moana. Oh wait, I totally forgot her necklace. Now since there's so many little pieces here, I'm just going to cut it out of white paper and draw the details in. Okay, this turned out to be a bit easier said than done, and I ended up cutting it in half. But that's nothing a little glue, tweezers, and patience can't handle. So I let that dry a bit, and now we drop. Okay, so maybe a lot of glue, tweezers, and patience. While that dries, I'll work on the locket. Now let's try this again and hope it doesn't continue to fall apart. Now let's get those lovely swirls on that locket, ink it up, and there she is, our Moana. And just for reference, here she is next to her new friends Eleven and Spider-Man. And I really think she's the perfect height and I just love how she came out. So if there's anyone else you'd like to see me make, let me know in the comments and yeah, thanks for watching. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and check out some of my other videos. And make sure you subscribe for all future videos. And why not follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram at RickyDoesIt. That's R-I-C-K-E-Y Does It. See you soon.